Hola amigos, hola amigas, Dorian here from Hoovalux. Welcome, bienvenido, croissui, salam alaikum. Welcome to Tech Thursday, y'all. And we have got an unboxing, installation, and demo here of the Ring Video Doorbell. This was given to me as a gift by Greg, so thank you very much for my gift. That is absolutely wonderful, and I will be using it all the time. So here we go, what is the Ring Video Doorbell? Now, the Ring Video Doorbell works on every home with or without a doorbell. Quick and easy to self-install. Answer the door from anywhere using your smartphone. So basically, this fits outside your house, and when someone pushes the doorbell, it sends a message to your phone so you can talk to them or take a snapshot. Uh, you can also connect to it at any time to have a look and see what's going on at the front of your house. Now, I didn't realize this, that this can be connected in two ways. It can either be connected on its own, as it is, without um, a mains power, just using a battery in it. Now, the battery does last for quite a long time, it says. Um, let's have a look. It does say somewhere about the battery. Uh, it's got night vision, so it's designed by Ring in California, assembled in China. Mm, 720p HD camera, 180 fields of view, two-way audio with echo cancellation, night vision, operating temperature, two-year warranty, blah, 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 certified for outdoor use. Um, let's have a look. Conf Configurable motion detection, it's got infrared night vision, easy installation, lifetime purchase protection, Wi-Fi connected, HD video, weather resistant design, two-way talk conversation. Okay, right, so what do we have? If we open it up here, it's fantastic because it actually comes with the tools that you need to uh, install it. Uh, there is something in there, but it, it's fallen out, but I can't remember what's in that little box. So you have to, first of all, you download and open the Ring app. Follow the Ring uh, app steps to set up your device to Wi-Fi. Use the provided tools to install your Ring video doorbell and then customize the device settings so you're always home. Now, if you have a, like I said, there is a built-in battery that you can charge up. It's quite easy to take off. There's a screw underneath and you can take the panel off charge it up and it does last for quite a while. I'll look at the instructions to tell you how long it lasts. You can also connect it up if you have a doorbell. If you have, there's two types of doorbell which I didn't realize. There's a mechanical and a digital doorbell. Some doorbells, if they sound like there is an actual bell in it, a proper hard bell, then that is a standard analog doorbell. And if you have one which makes like tunes or sort of like a synthesized sound, that is why it's called a digital doorbell. And the installation is slightly different, not complicated, but there is something different that you have to do to it. That's what I've seen on the reviews when I've been looking at it. So first of all, I'm gonna do is to break the seal on the box, that side and that side. Now, one of our neighbours used to have this before they moved away. They used to have one of these. Right, oh wow, it, it literally comes with everything. So, we have got the drill bit, the right correct drill bit for making the holes. We have got a screwdriver with the little screw, which is like the helix um, screw, and also the Phillips head screw, so it comes with that. It also comes with, oops, the, um, what do you call that, leveler. Yeah, it comes with a little spirit level as well for leveling it up. You get the wall plugs and you get the screws as well to screw it into the wall. If you have a wooden door frame or a wooden house and obviously you don't need the plugs, the wall plugs, but I'm going to be putting it into brick so I'm going to have to use the wall plugs, raw plugs, whatever they're called. Here we have the little instruction book in French, English, Dutch and German. So we'll take the English and this is the door bell itself. There it is. 
This is the little diode for if you have a digital doorbell. If you don't have a digital doorbell, do not use this. And this is the backing. This is what gets mounted to the wall. And this is the charger. So that is everything that you get inside the box which is literally everything. The only thing you have to do is provide the drill. Now, I have watched a number of how-to videos on this um, to see how it's done. Uh, peel off before, uh, before you. So you can use this to mount in level. Remove the attached mount in level prior to installing the device. So what you do is put the little leveler in there and then that's how you can level it straight this is where you connect it up if you are going to use a um, doorbell which I am going to do so I'm going to remove the doorbell cover that I currently have and then connect it up to this so that I'm not gonna have to use the battery on it which is brilliant so there's two little screws underneath that I'm going to take off And, oops, there we go, I've just turned it on. I've just rang it. But I haven't got anything connected to it yet, so ha ha ha. Right, so what I'm gonna do is, while I'm gabbing to you, is, 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 put it on charge. So let me undo this. Connect this up to here, which is my and then put it in like so. And there we go, it is now charging. So that's how much battery is in there. So the first thing I'm gonna do now while this is charging up as well, and there is some power in it, is connected to a device. So let me put all these bits thanks to one Alexa, side. Yeah. Oh, thanks Alexa, goodbye. And we will have a look at the instructions. I have got the iPad here with the app. So I'm just going into it. That is the setup button. Uh, Ring would like to send you notifications. Allow. So I'm going to log in because I already have an account that I set up previously. All right, so I'm going to ring. So uh, there we go. So I'm into the uh, setup. So uh, blah, 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 blah. No location. Set up device at a new location. Access the camera, yes. Scan the QR code. Where the hell's the QR code? Is it there? Uh, allow Ring to access your location while you're using the app. Yes, allow it. So let's set up your location. So I'm just going to put my details in. So I've set up my details. Uh, this is going to be used on the front door. Press and release the orange button on the back of the doorbell. Okay, and that is now doing the same as the picture. It's spinning around white and white. It wants to ring, connect to the Wi-Fi. Your ring doorbell is now scanning for available, yes. So I'm just gonna add in my password. So I 
I've just added in my password. There's no connecting up. Just another moment. Rome wasn't built in a day. No, it wasn't. Okay, so that is now set up. Your doorbell is updating its internal software. We know you can't wait to try out your ring doorbell, but please wait until the night stop, light stops flashing. So <clears throat> it's doing a software update, which all the other reviews I've seen as well. I like this one because it was darker and it was in sort of like a dark uh, bronzy color. So that is going to update now. Uh, let's have a look. Only connect terminals to wiring from a mechanical doorbell with a voltage. Yes, I've got that. So I'm taking that off. Now, if I'm not mistaken. I'm trying to work out what just testing the connection now asking me are there many barriers between you and your iPhone uh, no uh, how many devices show your wife yes is your wife very far away from your ring no is your wife a feeling its age no okay whatever no I'm gonna forget that okay no Try it again. Still has a week. Oh, whatever. Skip for now. Yes. Let's make motion work for you. Optimize motion settings. Are there any steps or a hill leading up to your door? No. Does your door face a street? Mm, no. How far from the door should motion be monitored? Uh, 15 to 30 feet. Your motion settings have been saved. Continue. How often should front door capture motion and send you motion notifications? Standard. Changes take effect from the effect the next time is to waste text motion. Okay, got it. If you would like to grant friends, I'll skip the step. I'll give it to Happy Lux later. Want to install your ring doorbell later? No. Ready to install your ring doorbell now? Web wired uh, wired installation, battery powered installation. And then it's going to give me a video on how to wire it this in. This video covers how to replace a wired doorbell with ring video doorbell. If you're not replacing an existing doorbell, watch our video on battery powered installation. Before beginning this process, first go through the in-app setup process inside near your router. Make sure to have everything that came in the ring packaging handy. If you're installing on a masonry surface, you'll also need a power drill. First, shut off power to your doorbell at the breaker. Then remove your existing doorbell. Now take the mounting bracket that came... All right, so this is the video. If your ring doorbell doesn't ring your internal chime, or your internal chime doesn't sound. All right, so we're done. I'm going to install it now. Okay. Uh, so, uh, testing your ring doorbell. Okay, let's try it.
Hey, kitty girl, it's me. I'm at the door. Get out, bitches. Okay, so I can speak to the person there. And I can press. Sorry, we don't want you today. End in the call. So there we go. That is just a, a little quick demonstration of it that is now charging up. Right, let's get this on the wall. So, let's do the first step. So here is our power box right by the front door. And if I open it up, okay, that's what it is. Let me, first of all, ring the doorbell for you guys. The doorbell is there. So let me ring the doorbell so you can hear it. So that is a mechanical doorbell. So what I need to do is to isolate the power, which happens to be the first one. There we go, that is the doorbell off. So, kill again, there's nobody there, it's just me. The dog thinks somebody's at the door. And let me push the button. There we go, doorbell does not work. This is the doorbell outside the front of the house. I have no, oh there we go, that's how it comes off, that was easy. So what I need to do is remove this old doorbell. Okay, so I have now removed the old doorbell from its mount with the two wires sticking out. Now I need to put this up against the wall and then measure where I'm gonna put it. I have a, a Sharpie pen here in my hand, so I'm gonna mark where I need to drill for the new holes. So I'm gonna do that next. Okay, so I've made the mark on the wall where I'm gonna drill the new holes. So I'm just gonna do that. Okay, so I've now drilled the holes. I'm just gonna pop in the wall plugs. Okay, so they are now in. Let's get the plate. Okay, so I've just started off the screws on the plate. When, and pull the wires through, when you were screwing this plate, make sure it is flat. Um, even if, because even if, this is a bit uneven, you have to make sure that this plate is not warped because it won't make the connections properly if it is warped. So I'm gonna screw this into place. Okay, so now the plate is fitted and screwed into the wall. I need to connect the wires to this. It doesn't matter which one you connect it to, as long as each one is in each. You unscrew this a little bit. Wrap the wire around it and tighten it in. This is the point where you put the diode on if you have a digital doorbell, but I don't have a digital doorbell. So let me connect these up to these. Okay, so the doorbell wires are now secured into that. Let's put the doorbell on its place. Okay, so I have the ring doorbell here. You have to make sure that the screws under there, as you can see, are loose. And then we fit it to the wall and then tighten up the screws underneath. Like so let me do the other one because I need two hands. Okay, so that is now connected up. Let's switch the power back. Sorry, I just hit the off button. Let's put the power back on. And there we go, that is now connected. And let's see if the doorbell rings. It does, there we are, see? So it's ringing the doorbell. 
and also it is ringing on there. So let's go and check and see what's happening. Okay, so the doorbell rang. So this is the protection plan which you have to pay for. Hmm, okay, let's go back out of it. Let's go back into ring. So, 504, missed doorbell ring, front door motion, 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 which was me faffing around. Uh, how do you look at the camera? It's online. Access a ring device anytime enable this option. Okay, Alexa, stop. Okay, live view. Okay. Yeah, okay, but where is it? There we go. Activating device. <laughs> nice and fast. Okay, come on. Come on. Connect. Like my little munchkin. Hmm. So we got ring alerts, motion alerts, live view, device health, power source hardwired, power status good, signal strength, whatever that is, connected to, up to date, improve your Wi Fi, test your Wi Fi, troubleshoot your notifications, test the Wi Fi. Okay, that's rubbish. Okay, well, it seems okay. Hardwired. Let's try it again, live view. Activating device. Okay, let's wait a minute. Okay, so I just popped out and rang the doorbell, then an alert came up, and there we have the live view of the front door. So that'll be fine, that will be able to see everything. You can't speak to the person until you push this button, sorry, down here. And then you can hear. So I can hear the neighbors. So it's not the most amazing of quality, I have to say, but we will continue with this and see how it goes and I'll update you with it. But as you can see, the installation wasn't too bad with a wired doorbell. Now I don't have to go worrying about the batteries running out on it. It's going to be fine. And then to end it, I can just do that. And there we go, back to it. And then you can update it. And you can now see all the options here. Right, okay, let's finish off the video. Okay, so I hope that has helped a little bit for the installation of it. Um, there are other videos on there, and of course Ring have got their own professional videos that they've done. I'm just gonna pop all the parts that it came with back into the box and keep them with it, including the charger, because I'm not gonna need that now, but it's a, it's a bog standard micro thingy magic charger for it 
and put it all away and there we go that is the ring installed like I said if you when you register the product and say for example the doorbell gets stolen as long as you can't um, as long as you tell the police and have a police report or a or a crime number as far as I can tell the ring will replace the doorbell for you but you have to you know you have to have a police report um, or a or a crime number in order for it to be done I will go into more detail on it and make sure that the product is registered and all my details are there I'm sure I did that when I set up the app but I will double check very very good I really do like it let's just see because that time I did it and it was just for um, let me bring you down. Okay, let's have a look. And let's see if I can go to device, live view. Ah, oh, there we go. So that's quicker now, it's gone into live view. And then I can hear it outside. Kids are playing football. So there we go. That is pretty good. I'm sure I'll be able to see that thing was there. So I'm, I'm sure people walking up, you'll be able to see it fine. So it's in the bog standard position of um, where uh, doorbells are. Not on the door or up higher. It's kind of down a bit lower, as you saw. Okay, so there we go. Just a very, very quick unboxing and installation video on there. Please comment, like and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you all in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.